Mitch, let's go get the mail. I just actually, I know this is the beginning of this video, but I just got done filming this video with the Demi foundation, a little bit of the 3D foundation, and you gotta see it in natural light. So we're gonna go get the mail so I can show you, so it reflects off of the car, off of the light, off all the things, we're gonna go. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. Here we go. You're gonna see this. You see that light? Oh, you see that? You can't see foundation on my face. Am I glowing? Am I glowing? <laughs> that was another laugh. Okay, we're going. You cannot see foundation on my face. Like, you can't. Sorry, car, I don't have my seatbelt on because I'm just getting them out. Oh look, there's a sign for a lost cat. I wonder whose it is. Mine. Stupid cat. No, he's not. I love him with all my heart. I'm so mad. Dang thing. Okay, you see this? Look at this light. It is like the best ever. Okay. So, we're dropping this right now. It's an introduction to the Demi Foundation. It is so dang good. I can't even, my heart, like every time I put it on, I just get stoked. So check out this video. You're gonna like it. It's different. It's a different foundation, foundation than what you're used to, but you're gonna love it. Introduction to Demi Foundation from Saint Beauty. They have two lines their Demi foundation and their 3D foundation. You've seen me do a crap ton of tutorials using this right here with the 3D foundation. And a little bit ago, you saw me do some tutorials using these little guys with these colors. Um, another one. All of these babies with these colors. And I went into a lot of detail from it. Well, you can see that I've pulled out some key things and there are definite key ones that I use. And I'm gonna give you a rock solid introduction, introduction with Demi Foundation, just using key simple ones. So here we go. We're gonna roll this out. So you've seen these, right? And these are um, color correcting and there's the theory, right? We're gonna neutralize out the tones that we have and we're going to put uh, color that is in that's across from the color wheel and then put it with that's on that and it should neutralize it out well things like this have been around for a time or two but the consistency uh, it, it's just not the same the consistency to this is very um like oily-ish it's very very movable and it's wonky. So why don't, we, what, what's, what are these? This is just what we've always, always, always had. The problem with this though, you go and you try to get a green color corrector. So I might need green right here, but then when I touch an area that doesn't need green, I lose like life. It starts to pull me too drab and I'm like, okay, well we just need to take care of this whole corrector thing. And I go and put on all this green and what happens? I have on all this crap and you see these undertones of this blue because this whole face does not need to be taken care of. In fact, putting something on this whole thing is going to jack up my look cause it's not needed at all. At all, <laughs> like I can't stress it enough. So my favorite thing is when you take this 3D, um, or sorry, this Demi method where you take the key colors that you need for your area. So right now, we have other colors with Demi that we have blues and purples and greens and everything like that, but I only need these colors because I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. The Demi foundation, or sorry, the sunspots that we have, not the Demi foundation, the spots that we have, actually a lot of them hold in blues and greens. So you're not needing to throw a lot of greens in your face because our reds actually start moving towards a blue. So I want you to think of your veins for a second and how your, your, your vein, if you were to bleed from there, it'd be red, right? But when you look at it, it looks like a blue or a green. Well, if you only knew 
how many veins are going through this face. I'll see if I can find a graphic, okay? I'll see if I can find a graphic, I'll plug it into this video so you can see how many veins are coming through the face and you have these blues and these greens that are just completely taking over and then we go and try to put this green onto the face and it's like, what the heck is going on? This is not right and it cannot be right at all. So um, I'm gonna walk you through using the Demi Foundation from Saint. It is a cream foundation, but the consistency of this versus these are way different. So all I do to prep my face before I apply these is I will, I like fill, well, so we got sunscreen and we got um, our type skincare. And I fill my face and I'm like, oh, it's definitely feeling a little bit dry in key areas. So I do wanna add in that hydration cause this isn't gonna get a lot of slip. So I fill where I need it and I definitely need it on the cheeks. So then I put my moisturizer here and I don't really take over the whole entire face. I can feel that I need it right there, barely on this chin right here. And I can feel that right in here, I'm feeling a little more dry. This side, not so much, but this side, yes. And I just put it where I need it. I'll put it on the little tip of my nose too. Okay, you're gonna let that sit, and then you're gonna put on your sunscreen of your choice. All right, I um, put a little swatch of my hand on this. So the consistency of this is truly like a um, semi-gloss gloss that you're gonna put on your lips. That's what this consistency is. Um, so it goes on pretty thick, like so. The consistency of the Demi Foundation is not that, in fact, one might think that it's gonna give you less coverage than this, but this will create a lot of movement. And this, you see how it just slips and slides like that? And this is not going to. But the difference is we're never gonna apply any of our color correcting in a thick manner. It's going to be used in a very light manner with a very small brush. No fingers, nothing like that. Um, if you did need to take care of a bigger area, you could with a little bit bigger brush, bigger end, something like that. But we're gonna hone in on the color correcting part and you have two options. You can either just color correct and take care of key places using the Demi foundation and then you can go in with the 3D foundation and apply your 3D with the rest of the face. That's my personal preference, I love it. But on Saturday mornings, if you're anything like me, you go and you grab your donuts at the grocery store for your family to enjoy this tradition where every Saturday is donut day. You wanna go to the grocery store, but you don't necessarily might wanna be showing these dark under eyes, but we just wanna neutralize them and not be shown. So I'm gonna show you how we do that. First things first, cameraman, will you zoom in tight to my under eyes? So I'm gonna look at this camera right here. So we're gonna be in really, really tight and I want you to look at and see these tones that I have under here. So the natural eye, the naked eye might see that this is like a purple and this just stays a strong purple. But anytime that it's going to such a deep purple like that, it really does have a blue background to it. Um, any sunspots have a green and a blue background to them. They are not brown. Um, or making it orange so then you don't go and put blue on them because then it's gonna look chalky. Um, if I were to pull, and this one actually doesn't have blue, but if I were to then put a cast of a purple, you're gonna see this purple cast like that, okay? And you know it's wrong. So when you apply the Demi Foundation, anytime you end up seeing a cast, that's when you know the color's wrong because since we're only using small um, amounts of it, if you still see a cast, you know it's wrong. With the Demi Foundation, I will color match you to the colors that you're gonna need, but I'm not gonna mark on your face where you need them because here's the crazy thing. Your face is changing all the time when it comes to the darkness under eyes, even the redness that can pull on a sunspot or acne or rosacea, it changes from weather, the, the environment, how hot you are, cold you are, um, if you've worked out, if you are lacking vitamins at the moment, if you're on your period, it's changing things. 
So we're going to go in and I'm going to show you now and pray that I don't cover up the camera when I show you, but I'm going to assess each area. So this one right here is going to pull a purplish type blue. So because it has the purple blue, I'm going to go in with a yellow orange. Okay. Because across from the color wheel from purple is yellow and across the color wheel from blue is orange. So I'm actually going to take a yellow orange color and this color is called Y O one. So with Demi for your introduction to Demi, if it has a one behind it, that means it's at the base of, we're going to color correct with this one and neutralize the excess color. If it has a three, it means your tones are a little bit darker and you need it taken care of a little bit more. If it has a five for the number, so I'm saying Y1, um, O1, G1, B1, P1 for purple, R1 for red, um, those are all that first level, okay? If it goes to a three, a five, a seven, they have more pigments in them. So I'm going to be using right now the Y01, so the yellow orange one, because I have fairer and these are not the darkest, darkest points. I can take care of them. So I am now going to take that one color. I'll just pull it out. These are magnetized and they fit in my tin, but I want you to zoom in on the brush. So the brush right here has a point that is very, it's just at the very, very end. When I dip into the product, I'm going to make sure to only hit that point. So I'm actually not dipping into it like this and getting color all the way on it like that. Can you see that? Okay. So we don't want color on it like that because if I were then to come here, do you see how you can see all that color that's coming off the brush? We do not want that. That's what's so different about this product versus what I showed you earlier. We do not want that. So I'm going to take off all that excess. So my goal is to come into that very tip and only pop it on the tip. And I will also press it onto my hand to make sure that I do not have too much. Now I'm going to go into that area and I'm going to find the darkest part of the area first. You always want to find, go to the darkest part of that area, which is going to be right here. All right. So we're going to hit that area. Grab some again. I'll pop it onto my hand because I did actually have too much on my brush there. Now I'm going to go find the next darkest area. And I'm just going to stay on those dark points, blending it out softly. And if I can still travel on my brush just a little bit more because there is a little bit of product on my brush, I, it, I will. So see how that is just softening out that color. And it is just honing in on it with pure perfection. And that color is dissipating, neutralizing. The color correcting method is completely working with it. I'm not getting too heavy of a product. Whereas if I were to go in with this, I would actually be going in more with a heavy hand. And because it's the product, the product that it is, it moves more. And even if I like tried to do this, it's harder to work with because it is so slippery. Okay. And it will see there really, really well. Then I go and assess with what these colors are too. So I have a blue vein that's coming across here. At least I think it's blue. That's going to be my first test. I have like, this is just all broken type capillaries. So this looks brown which I just know cause I've told you and cause I have tried it, tested it since it looks brown, it has to have blue. So I'm going to try O one and see if that is legit. Now remember how I said, you'll know if it's the right color cause it, it completely blends in that I got a little too much. So I'm just going to pat my hand. And I did still get a little too much, but do you see how that just neutralized that out? So I know I have the right color. If I were to go in with Y1, let's see here. 
See how the Y one stands out so much more? It's cause it's not, even with me tapping it in, see how it still stands out? It's cause it's not the exact color it needs. Cause if it does, if it is the color it needed, it would never look chalky. Cause see, even with me applying it thin, it's looking chalky. And that's why I know, that's how I know that the O one is better than the Y one for that area. Cause it just flows like fine wine to that spot. See how that just neutralizes that out. Okay, this one is looking kind of purple more than anything. So I'm just gonna try the Y one and see what this one does here. Okay, so here the Y one completely blended in. You couldn't even see it. Like, wow. See the difference that makes? It is so handy. Okay, so this one's crazy purple, so I'm gonna take the Y one again, only on that line. Okay, I'm gonna continue and do this method um, as I go, because when I talk, it takes longer for me to do, but you now see the method of what I'm doing. When I come over to this other eye, I am actually gonna be introducing a little bit of O3, because this one is clearly darker than this. And so I will be putting in O3 here. So let me go and finish up on this side with getting all those little veins and capillaries and stuff. I'll just speed it up just a little bit and then we'll come back over and we'll come to this side right here. It doesn't take as long as I'm doing. You will get quicker at it. You'll get better at knowing what color goes there. You really do have to try. You just have to test them out. I'll match you to the ones that I think is best for you. And then you do have to just mess with them a little bit, but I can promise you if you get too much product or if you're just trying to, to um, let me give you an example right here. And I'm gonna do it in the yellow just so it shows up better. But let's say you have an area that you're like, okay, I don't like the redness all the way out here. So you take a thick amount and you paint it like this. You will not be as happy Okay, because when you're painting it in this big area, sometimes that area closest to the nose might need O3 because it's redder. And then maybe the area under that needs Y1. See the difference? So you have to be careful with how you take care of things because if you do go in thinking, okay, this whole area needs it, there are areas that are stronger in color, especially with rosacea, stuff like that, and then ones that don't have as much. So on this one, I have O3 on my brush because this redness is stronger that it's going blue, but it's a strong red. So I'm using O3, because if I used O1, see how it's, so, it's showing up so much because it's too light? And that's how you can tell the difference. If you are applying too much, or it's just way showing up way different in color, way too strong in color, and it just doesn't naturally just grab it, you know the color's off just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up and just finish out this side. Okay, we're gonna move to the next side. I'm just gonna show you this one step quickly because I've already got addressed everything else and we'll just move on to the next part. But I'm gonna show you now adding how I do this side because I've got a strong broken capillary. I've got green and blue type colors right in here. And then I have just like a strong blue plus the purple. So I'm gonna go in with the O or the Y01. So I got too much color, so I popped some off the brush and onto my hand. See, that's still a lot of color, so I'm gonna make sure that there's nothing else on that brush. 
I swear to you, you have to get less. If you have to bring in a little bit more after, then you can do that. But I swear to you, less is more. See, that's too much. Less is more with this makeup. Okay, I'm gonna introduce um, O3 right in here. Very, very lightly. And just help neutralize that out. I'm gonna go to O1, right in here, to pull out some of that blue, and O1 along here. And then I'm gonna come right in here with O1, and on that um, spot, because there's so much purple and blue, I'm gonna do, let's try, let's just try the yellow, the white one, and see what happens. For the broken capillary. It worked. Covered it right up. I'm gonna do the Y one also for these areas right in here, because it looks red, but I know that red is moving to purple. So I'm gonna try the right one. Sometimes it will go to um, pulling an orange because it's backed with the blue, but the white one's working great on this rosacea part. Okay, I'm gonna finish this part out because you get the gist and I'll come right back and show you what we're gonna do next. All right, there's one last thing that we can do with this is you can, if you wanna do something called toning. So let's say you have an overall bigger area and you wanna address that bigger area. So a lot of times, so for example, if I farted around with this area right here, like even if I put the colors on, it just feels like it's still pulling blue. So we actually have this color. So this is the Y01 that you saw me use a lot. And this is the OY one. And you can see how they're so close, but yet yeah, so different. So one of them has more blue, one of them, sorry, one of them has more orange, one of them has more yellow, because um, they are for different things. One of, like if you had more blue or if you had more purple, right, they're gonna take care of that. So I have an area over in here that if I put on even the Y01 or if I put on O01, if I put on any of those, it still pulls blue. So I grabbed the OY one and I took this part of my brush and I just pounced it one little pounce and I pressed right into that area and it neutralized out that blue. And if I have like a bigger area that has purple, you need to make sure you do not get off of that purple, but I could come into here and neutralize out that, or if that was really green, I could come into here and neutralize that green with like R1 or R01 or something like that. So it's actually really, really cool. Um, so those are, these are, this is br this brush, the spot brush. It's the one that you're gonna use the most. You have seen on TikTok, if, if you ever see Kara do her, her videos, is she'll use different brushes like this because she's trying to get them super fine so you're not overusing product because again you saw how many times I had to get up you can even see right here that I had to get off excess on my brush like because you're it's easy to get it's easy to get too much and so you'll see her use that sometimes but that is why you can get this demi brush and just pop off that extra whenever it's needed to just take off any of that extra so you have two options from here on out you can leave this alone and now we just go in and take a blush, like so, and do a main foundation, just the 3D foundation. So we're just stippling on a little bit of blush here. And Adding a teeny tiny foundation here, but I'm gonna make it so minimal. But the goal of this is to keep that natural look. So preferably, 
if you can do your face without a foundation because the foundation actually gives you a whole different cast than what you have naturally that's an awesome goal to have or just making it so minimal that you can apply it in just very 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 key key places and take care of those areas so like right in here i pull more blue so i can go in with that yo one and remove sorry yeah yo one not o no oy one not yo <laughs> oy one the oy and apply this to help remove some of this blue in my chin so this is just like toning it down and taming it without needing to have a ton of foundation on my face. You can go in and add a bronzer. If you wanna add a bronzer, you can add a contour if you wanted to add a contour. But the goal with the Demi foundation is to not look like you have a ton of foundation on that's not changing the color. So lastly, real quick, what I wanna to touch on is see how, like, I like to call it white. I mean, I know I don't have white tones, but I like to call it white. See the tones right here in my face. Look what happens when I add foundation there. Even though this foundation matches my whole face, when I add foundation here, look, see how it completely changes the whole entire thing? So our goal is to, if we can minimize that as much as possible and just make it as neutral as possible and just pounce in a little bit of color where it's needed instead of the whole thing, so when you use a minimal amount and just get it in the key places that it's needed, you're not losing the color that your pigmentation naturally has is, has, has is, has. So I'm just trying to focus just on what's needed instead of putting it all over. And then you have a very natural, beautiful look that the Demi foundation is accentuating and showing, and it's your gorgeous face and not a fake coloring that isn't accurate for who you are. And I'm going to put on, um, there's also all kinds of balms and everything that you can do. Demi even has its own balm, lip balm. I don't have it right here. I wish I did. Actually, I have one of them that's right here. There's really, really good. You can just put it all on there. Keep it more natural. And you are set. So we brightened up the eye. I made my face look alive, come alive. We neutralized any of that funk. I could probably actually do a little bit right in there. That way. Or I could do, I could do, this is the O1. Right there. So the goal with the Demi foundation is to neutralize the tones that are too saturated. We want to take out the excess tones without plugging a lot of crap on that's actually going to pull your skin different than what it truly is. This stuff, I absolutely hate it. Hate it. I can't even think of who I would be okay with putting this on. Um, because even if you have insanity, insane, insane, insane redness, this is going to pull you green still. It's not even gonna take care of the redness. Like even if your whole face was, cause then you're turning more blue. This is going to make you look ashy and dead. If you've seen a lot of the tutorials that are trending right now where girls are putting this type of stuff on their face, if you really look at her coloring, she has to work so hard to get the green to be removed from her face from putting crap like this on. I hate it with a passion. So hopefully that breakdown of Demi with just making things look as much like your skin as possible Ah, it's so pretty. It has a natural glow. I did not put any makeup on my face that would give it an illuminating effect, but you see how it just naturally has that glow. And it's so pretty. I hope you like this tutorial. Know that I'm always here for you, Jocelyn McClellan. And on Instagram, you can find me 
as Jocelyn McClellan, but it's jocelyn.mcclellan on Instagram, and then Facebook is Fit Mission Makeup with Jocelyn McClellan, where I go live on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Have a great one. Go and test out that natural, beautiful skin, and message me if you need anything, and if you need a custom color match for your Demi or your 3D foundation, go to fitmissionmakeup.com. I'm happy to help. US and Canada only, for where Demi is available, sadly, but I'm always happy to help.